What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on One Rovers Vlogs. As always, hope you're all doing well. If you do enjoy this video, then please do hit the like button. Let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video. Of course, subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And leave any thoughts down in the comments section down below. Let me know what positions you would strengthen with a few days left remaining in the transfer window. And of course, leave your thoughts on Zane Walker leaving as well. And I'll leave my code on screen uh, for fan hub make sure you go and download that app it is free and it is a great app so yeah only available for four more people as well but getting into it of course the main topic that was coming out of Rovers today uh, this morning was Zane Walker has left Rovers this time on a permanent deal and has joined National League side Kings Lynn and they're of course managed by Tommy Widgenton who was of course at Rovers on the board and making all the pretty much all the decisions on the recruitment and he's pretty much signed a few Rovers players already signed Josh Barrett and signed Fear Widrington uh, who of course used to play for Rovers as well but yeah you know my thoughts on this it's sort of been I've seen mixed opinions uh, you know with everyone on this some people um, you know really wanted him to stay and other people you know think he's you know not good enough and should have left so yeah for me I think it's sort of half and half like he he had a few chances, he impressed in a few games, but I think he just needs to, you know, for me, go out and play games, um, you know, build himself up. He's still, you know, quite young as well and still pretty weak and just go and play, you know, men's football. National League is a good level uh, to play football. Of course, he was already on loan there this season and now he does leave on a permanent and joins them till the end of the season. Um, and, of course, it's going to be interesting because... They're struggling a lot. They're 11 points from safety and it's going to be tough for them to stay up. So that's why he's only joined them on a permanent deal. Of course, uh, you know, January so far, Rovers have completed two signings. The permanent signing of Ryan Loft, who we got from Scunny. And of course, James Connolly, who we signed on loan from Cardiff until the end of the season. Both uh, really good signings. James Connolly done well on his debut. He's sort of going to be a backup so he can play right back and centre back. And of course, Ryan Loft. Um, didn't have the best of debuts, didn't really get in the game much, and when he did, he, he had a big chance, he should have shot but didn't, and then a few bits of play in the second half where he made the wrong pass and his touch was poor, but hopefully as time goes on and he gets more confidence and more surroundings, you know, with, with his new teammates, and hopefully he can do well. You know, going on to players that are expected to leave, it pretty much going to be all the youngsters now. Of course, Westbrook was one, and now he's joined Stevenage on loan to the end of the season. Of course, Ryan Jones as well, even though I really like him and would like to see him get more opportunities, I think he'll be out on loan, as well as the goalkeeper, Jed Ward. Done well in pretty much most games he's played in the Checker Trade Trophy. It'd be different if they were, we were still in cup competitions, but we're not now. It's just league focus. So I think it's just best for them to go out on loan and get experience as well. You know, we've seen um, Tom May, you go out on loan and other players uh, also. So... And maybe Pablo Martinez as well. Again, when he's played this season, you know, in the FA Cup and the other games, I thought he's done really well. But, you know, with the midfield we got now, and I think Barton will be looking to either strengthen either the midfield or centre-back. We've got onto that in a sec. So it makes sense for all those youngsters to go out on loan. Of course, uh, Yakola's back now, so it pretty much means that Jed Ward is going to be limited to games. So he might as well go out on loan. Of course, leave your thoughts if anyone else should leave as well. Um, but yeah, getting on to incomings, of course, we freed up a bit of wage with Zane Walker. As uh, Of course, Westbrook's out on loan now. I don't know how much we're paying. I, I reckon we're paying half because Stevenage won't be able to afford four grand a week uh, for the whole thing. So yeah, for me, like I said, it's either between a centre-back or a centre-mid. I don't think we'll make two signings. I think one more signing will do it. Of course, we've got in the midfield, you know, Finley's back now, Whelan, Coots as well. And, you know, centre-back, I think we're still pretty weak in centre-back. I think I don't really feel trusted with Kean Harris. That's only my personal opinion. I, I still think we're lacking uh, a proper leader there. Of course, Anderton's done well in centre-back when he's played, but he was dropped uh, the weekend just gone. So it's a bit different, really. But, yeah, leave your thoughts. What position do we need to strengthen leave your comments down below of course leave a like if you do enjoy and don't forget i'll be doing the live stream tonight at 7 p.m for the swindon preview and another video out at 6 p.m for lee 2 transfer so yeah if you enjoyed like i said leave a like and i'll see you in the next video up
the gas.